I'd now like to show you the offset tool. So what I'm going to do is create a circle here and make the radius 10. I'll just zoom in on this here and I'm going to create a rectangle here. I'm not too worried about the actual size of this for the moment and I'm going to create a rectangle here and what I'm going to do now is just to select all of the vectors and use this command here called the world vectors what this will actually do is trim off all of the parts on the inside and join all the vectors together so I'll just press this and then you can see what happens there we have all of our vectors joined together with all the parts on the inside trimmed out. Now I'm going to show you how to use the offset vectors tool. So I'll just click on offset vectors. Just move this down here to the side so you can see. Just set this back to outwards. And the offset distance I'll change that to 2mm. And at the moment the corners are sharp. I'll take off delete original vectors just so you can see. So I'll just offset this now. Now you can see it's offset this line outwards by 2mm. Just undo that. This time I'm going to use radius corners. So I'll just offset the original vector again. And there you can see it's given me radii on the corners. If I undo that and select chamfered, it will do the same thing but have chamfered edges. There you can see. So I'll just undo that again. I can do the same thing inwards. So I'll select that. I'll keep it on chamfered and I'll offset it. Then you can see it's given me an offset inwards with chamfered corners. I'll undo that. I can also delete the original vectors. So if I select it and then offset it, it's deleted the original vectors. I'll just undo that again. And I can also offset it both sides. So I'll just keep it sharp just for the time being. And I'm going to do it 2mm again and offset. Now you can see it's offset in both directions. So that's basically the offset tool.